This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2 and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon his name? Barakatha, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth, also peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus 2 and verse 10 again. And keep in mind Romans 15 and 4. Things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. So if we follow Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 and verse 10, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. And the answer to that question is no one. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? The answer to that question is no one. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So just like our forefathers, such as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, our forefather, King David, all right, they called upon the names, all right, and they was delivered because they believed in those names, which equals protection, all right? That's our place of protection. That's the book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10 tells us the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So that's the gauge to let you know who is the wicked and who is the potential righteous because the righteous is running unto the names Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai because it's protection in those names. All right, it says the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower, all right? When the floods start beating upon the grounds, all right, in the form of the Most High's whipping stick, all right, which is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, the son of perdition, Esau, Edom, all right, when the Most High put the spirit upon this man to come in as a great flood, as the scripture speaks of, those are going to be those floods beating upon the grounds but we're going to have a strong tower in those times, all right, which is your protection. And now we know what to pray for. You know, pray for an increase of faith, uh, an increase of, of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, endurance, and patience, all right? And also pray for protection. It says, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is safe. So that's our safe haven. This truth, as the scripture tells us in the book of Psalms 91 and verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, which is this truth. All right. We are the real church hidden in plain sight. All right. Starting with the apostles and the elders. All right. On the street corners. Where you're going to find wisdom for real. Where you're going to find Yahweh Shai at. All right? Because his men was commanded to uh, go on the highways and byways and hedges. All right? And compel them to come in. So we are the church hidden in plain sight. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And when you go into that word shadow, it means a place of protection. So those that dwell in this truth that's going to be your place of protection, all right? Those that run to these names, those that keep this philosophy, those that uh, uh, store up their treasures in heaven, all right? When the time comes, this is going to be our protection, all right, through faith. The scripture tells us in the book of Psalms 140 and verse 1, and the headline says, prayer for protection against the wicked, all right? The wicked that the Bible speaks of. Esau, Edom, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. So we know who runs the earth, all right? The small headers. It says, deliver me 
O Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, from the evil man. Let's look up this word, evil. Because the evil man is Esau, all right? Which come in the form of the shadow government of America, which are the world bankers, all right? The wicked that the Bible speaks of. The word evil, Strong's H7451, it says bad, evil. It says bad, disagreeable, mal mal malignant, all right? Which goes back to um, one, one phrase to describe uh, malignant is um, uh, full of hate, all right? And that's this man, he's full of hate. Number one, he wants his birthright back, all right? And number two, he just was programmed to have a perpetual hatred, all right, against you jakes. It says, wicked, okay? Bad, evil, wicked. So let's go back. So the, the man that's full of hate, all right, the wicked man, this is our prayer to have protection from him, all right, to to uh, have the angels encamped about us, all right, as the scripture speaks about. It says, Psalms 40, 140 and verse 1, Deliver me, O Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Yeah. Uh, protect me from uh, the violent man. Because Esau Edom is that violent man. He is that blood shedder. All right. He was blessed with the sword. All right. And Esau Edom used his blessing to the fullest. All right. Which makes him that violent man. All right. He, he don't diplomatically settle no disputes. All right. He just draw his weapon. All right. It says. Which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. See that? That's the nature of this man, this wild man, this wicked man. And we need protection from this wicked man, Esau. This is a true despicable man, the most high on the left hand side. When the scripture says, uh, I form the light and create uh, 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 evil. All right. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the most high on the left hand side created this man for his pleasure. And his pleasure is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. That's why we need protection from it. And it comes through prayer. All right. Praying to Yahweh Shai. Yes, we pray to Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is that mediator. All right. He's that one that have already died for the elect, for them to have protection through his blood. That's why we pray to be a part of that. We pray for that protection of the elect. The same hedge that our forefather Job had about him. Let's jump down. Psalms 140 and verse 4. It says, keep me, O Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. All right? That's why it's called Jacob's trouble. All right? It's going to be trouble throughout the, the world, but it's going to be mainly geared towards the tribes of Israel to destroy you off. But only the elect is going to make it out of these times. The scripture tells us in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, And verse, verse 12, it says, Egypt shall mourn. And this is speaking of the modern day Egypt, which is America. The scripture speaks about America being that spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All right. It says Egypt shall mourn and Egypt mainly represents our bondage. It says Egypt shall mourn. So the modern day America shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. So that's why we need to pray for protection. Because the times that's about to happen upon American soil is going to be like no time that ever been seen. All right? And who's going to catch the brunt of it? 
the tribes of Israel, but the elect is going to be what? Protected. That's why we got to pray for that protection, pray for that hedge of protection. All right. And only the most high is going to protect us from his sword, which is Esau. The scripture says in the book of Psalms, Seventeen, in verse thirteen, it says, "Arise, O Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, disappoint him." So our protection lies in the Most High, allowing Yahweh Shai, all right, to allow angels to camp about us in these times, or have that hedge of protection about us. It says, "Cast him down." Who's that? Him, the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. And you use a sword for offense. So the most high in that day is going to be on the offense. He's going to allow his whipping stick, his, his sword to be swinging, which is Esau. Bringing down that wrath. All right. Bringing down Jacob's trouble. All right. Concentration camps. Okay. Everything is uh, 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 made martial law. All right. The, the, the government policing everything. These days are, 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 are up ahead, all right? You look around, you see military tanks in residential areas that don't supposed to be there. They've been preparing for these things, all right? So these are the reasons why we what, should pray for that protection. Let's get the book of Psalms 91. In verse 1 again. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. So our trust solely should be in Yahweh by Yahweh Shai protecting us. All right. Having that hedge of protection about us. All right. And not trust upon carnal things. Not trust upon ourselves. All right. Trust upon the values that's being instilled in us right now and to enable us to get through those times isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times see and the strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure let's read that again isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time so the way that we're going to be able to stand in the time of jacob's trouble all right, it's going to be that wisdom and knowledge that we're receiving now. All right, and understanding is going to bridge wisdom and knowledge in those times. All right, that's going to be a hedge of protection for us. All right, it says, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, let's jump back to. Psalms 91 and verse 3, it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. See that? So the Most High applying um, the keys to survival, which is knowledge and wisdom, and understanding to mend the both, all right, is going to help deliver us in that day, help us remove them, you know, through the evil times, through faith, all right? But ultimately, it's going to be what? The, the guidance of the Most High, which is protecting us through Yahweh Shai, all right, through the angels having charge over us. And that's what we got to pray for. Pray to continue in the faith, which is the hiding place. Pray to continue to gain um, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, endurance, and faith, all of the keys of salvation, all right? And ultimately pray that the Most High, uh, uh, as the scripture says, and... St. Matthew 6 and verse 13 it says and lead us not into temptation so that's what we pray that the most high through Yahweh Shai lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, deliver us from Esau. From thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Or so shall it, so shall it be. All right. 
So this, these are the things that we need to pray for, which is protection from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, pray to stay in uh, Yahweh Shai or abide in Yahweh Shai so Yahweh Shai can abide in us. All right, which ultimately that's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding also that's going to guide us. All right, and Yahweh Shai himself uh, protecting us. All right, by being in us. Okay, and ultimately we are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And those that are predestinated to make it through those times to come, all right, which is to have protection. And that leads to salvation. So, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying Shalom DTA.